Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen back with another Project Life process video. Today I'm going to be working on week uh, 34 from 2016. And you can see that I'm starting with a full set of pictures in my page protectors and I'm using um, Becky Higgins Design A and Design G for this. This was a family wedding and so I had a lot of pictures from that weekend. Um, earlier, before I started, I went ahead and did my journaling on the computer and um, I don't know if you can see that right, but um, bolded, I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I'm just kind of uh, briefly talking about what we did over the weekend um, when we were gone and and then I'm adding the date right onto it, um, trying to figure out if I actually got the right date or not. So. I'm using a new um, date stamp for me. This is actually a uh, UK style one uh, that has the day first and then the month. And I, for some reason, that's just something that I've always preferred. And so um, I'm glad that I was able to find that. I'm not even sure what brand it is. It's something that I got on Amazon. So I think it's kind of a no brand, but you can use, of course, any date stamp that works for you. Um, I'm also using uh, some of the cards from Studio Calico. I believe these cards are from June, July, and August. So I'm just kind of filtering through and trying to decide what I want to use. Obviously, I, um, I don't have very many pockets left. I have the one right there on your left. And then as I flip over that page, you're, you'll see that uh, I have a few more that I need to um, add in, but I didn't have a lot of space. I really wanted the pictures to shine on this one. So what you just saw me do there is that card said, hello, summer. And because school started this week, um, I wanted to cross that off and put, you know, cross off the hello and add goodbye. So that's what I was just testing it out on the one side. And so you'll see me later on actually finish that card. Um, I'm looking through a bunch of my Allie Edwards story stamps right now. And what I'm trying to do is uh, I want to make like a, a number, a number checklist. And so you'll see that I go through this, this whole process of, of, of stamping this line. And then I end up not loving it because, um, I can't fit. I don't, I wanted to put like a small number inside that circle and I didn't have any numbers that would fit. So um, after all I do this, I end up scrapping it anyways. And I think the other reason why I didn't necessarily love it is because the line is going off the edge, but the circle isn't. That kind of bothered me a little bit. Um, so I think if I were to do it again, I would, and especially since I'm just doing, they were all numbers, I would just have all the circles going down the left hand side. So I think that's what I would do differently um, if I was gonna do it again. And I probably would. I think I saw Allie do that or she had a card or something that had it going the way that I stamped it. And I, I really liked that because she was doing you know kind of opposites. And so that would work in that case. But for some reason it just didn't work for me. So you'll see that I'm trying to figure out numbers and uh, how to fit it in. And then I even decide maybe I should go with a different color because it would add a little bit of contrast, but it just wasn't working out for me. So I decided to scrap it and that's okay because, um, the card stock that I'm using is Nina solar white card stock. It's 80 pounds and I can easily, um, turn it over and use the other side without having to just completely scrap it and throw it away. So now I've decided I'm going to still do the number checklist, uh, but I've decided that I want to add a little like embellishment or something there. So I'm looking through my stickers to see if I have something that I can add to the top of the card just to make it a little bit more, you know, just to give it a little bit more something, maybe a little bit more color. Uh, sometimes I feel like when I just do a blank white card stock, uh, it needs something more. So that's what I was looking for. And I just went with the daily, daily, daily. I believe that was from an older Studio Calico kit as well. I think it probably came out earlier this year. I can't remember though. Um, the stamp set that I'm using, I think also came from a Studio Calico kit. I want to say that it was One Little Bird. 
Um, so that unfortunately is not available, but they there are tons of other uh, stamp sets out there that have numbers uh, available. I actually wanted to use the numbers from Allie Edwards, um, her latest story stamp kit called Me, which is still available actually, but the numbers only went up to... Oh yeah, I could have used that. I'm not sure why I didn't. I I didn't use it on the other one because I had more than five lines, but this one I only ended up doing five. So I guess I didn't rethink that, but it's okay. I liked the boldness um, of those numbers anyway. So that worked out. And I just did, you know, five highlights from the week. Um, I don't think I said anything about the wedding on that video, or excuse me, on that card because... I did a whole uh, a whole nother journaling on the wedding. So now I'm just deciding to add add that this yellow heart right to um, the three by four card, that filler card. And you'll see later that I end up stapling it because I just wanted to add a little bit more texture. So this is where you see me um, cross out that hello and say goodbye. So I thought that that was a great way to be able to use that summer card since I hadn't used it in the summer and that was, I actually had to decide to use and I never did. So um, I'm great. I'm glad that I was, you know, able to find a way to use it. So my title card this week is a picture that my daughter drew on, it actually was on an eight and a half by 11, but I just took a picture with my phone, put it in um, Photoshop, you know, and made it more black and white in color. And then I just printed that off on a, on a photo paper. So that, that is something that I really love to be able to include. I kind of went back and forth on whether or not to actually just include the actual art, but I thought that um, doing it on the photo paper was sufficient enough. So I went ahead and went with that. So now I'm basically finished. I've decided that I'm basically finished with this um, spread, but I'm thinking I want to add a little bit more embellishments. And this is where I just kind of futz around and I'm trying to decide if I should add anything more. Um, I believe I do add um, a little die cut that also went with the same Studio Calico kit that the heart went with. I think it was last month's August, perhaps. Um, but I decided in the end, uh, after I do put that happy day on, that I'm just going to let the photos speak for themselves and um, I'm just going to call this one good. I uh, really I really don't mind leaving my photos as is and not filling it up with a bunch of stuff. Sometimes I feel, I don't know if it's pressure, but um, for the most part, I like to keep my my photos kind of clean. So or just do different things from now and again. So anyways, this is the spread this week. Um, oh, actually, I'm going and doing one more thing. Um, I decided, or on the insert that I did, I didn't actually put in um, the little title or the little cards. So I'm doing that and I'm using Allie Edwards magic stamps. Now, if that's not something that you are subscribing to, you can always um, look. She typically will have sales maybe like twice a year. So look for that. Maybe you could get that or even the digital. So anyway, this is the spread for this week and I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will catch you next time. See you later.